Good morning. It's another beautiful day here in the UK. This morning I want to talk about why it's absolutely key that we avoid the temptation to look at failure too quickly. Now, for one, in my world, and this isn't necessarily true, I tend to avoid the temptation to look at failure as being something negative. I've cultured myself to believe, and I think there is a lot of value in this, in seeing that failure is feedback. It's a, it's a phrase which is banded around in the self-help community, and I think there could be a little bit more depth in it. And it could be expanded slightly. But for all intents and purposes, for this morning, I want to talk about the need not to judge yourself at all, not to judge yourself too quickly based on the immediate results. History is littered and history has been changed dramatically with the introduction of things that at first, due to either modern technology, limitations in knowledge, understanding, the lack of experts within your network, of situations and things that have happened that haven't materialized for many, many years later that if you were to go back to that original time and perhaps make that suggestion that the action that you've taken today or the energy that you've projected may not materialize for 10 years, 15 years, 20 years, would you be okay with that? Now, my invitation is to invite everybody to be not only okay with that, but also to start more things. If everything that you are starting today takes 10 years to manifest into something great. It takes 10 years to manifest into something more and that more supports that legacy, that future version of you and that is key. Then start more things. We only have to look at Fleming's discovery of penicillin to understand exactly what I mean here. Penicillin has changed life as we know it on this planet as an antibiotic found in a petri dish as i'm aware that actually was going to be thrown away and it was only through uh, the observation within a couple of seconds before throwing the petri dish or petri dish into the bin that it was seen that that area actually didn't have the mold or the, the, uh, the mold was actually avoiding or not concentrated in that area now penicillin as in the valuable drug have today the antibiotic. The antibiotic, as we know today, didn't materialize for another 10 years. In actual fact, the research and Fleming's material that he projected out there was lost. He didn't document it. He didn't write about it. Or he wrote about it with an element of insignificance because he couldn't stabilize penicillin. He used it in a liquid form. Now, this isn't a chemistry lesson at all, but I think it's really important to understand that discoveries projections that you make today may seem insignificant but have the ability to change the world. I did just say that and I think it's important that people understand that. the actions that you take today or the inaction, the lack of action you take today has the ability to change the world. You do not have to be a chemist, a biologist involved in the sciences. You do not have to be a computer programmer. You don't have to be a person with definitive past in education. You could be the next Branson. You could be the next Steve Carroll. You know, one thing I learned about Steve Cam Carroll, the, act the actor, the comedian, the human, is that his career didn't really flourish until he was over 40. Yet he's someone that I would consider not necessarily true or the truth has changed the dynamics of humor, of comedy, through his projection, through his interpretation. You may not, you may have not found your penicillin. And even if you did find it, maybe 10 years before it materializes, you may not have found your true path, your life changing, your niche that has the ability to radically change the world can be done through humor, can be done through a few words, it can be done through poetry, it can be done through art, it can be done through science or the sciences. We all have the ability to do that. The invitation therefore is to avoid the temptation to restrict yourself or to not take action because it doesn't offer an immediate return. Life is an investment. Time is the only thing that you cannot get back. You can regain an element of internal wealth. You can change your health within 
certain margin. You cannot get back the time that you've wasted in not doing. Are you another Fleming? That's what you've got to ask yourself. What are you giving back to the world that has the ability to radically change? Are you passionate about something that can be developed, designed around a social media platform? Do you have something that is the next positive viral message? Well, the truth is you will never know unless you do. Do you have an opinion? Do you have a remedy to world hunger? Fleming got a Nobel Prize for something he was just about to throw into the bin. That's the fact. His documentation in medical journals was discovered by another individual that stabilized penicillin and found that it was only of true value or benefit in dry form rather than liquid form, which was unstable as far as I'm aware. That was some 10 years later. What message do you have today that has the ability to expand into something much greater with the additional input from another individual who in 10 years time can gather what you're projecting out there and manifest that into something greater. It all starts with a few minute messages, projections. That's the start. You don't have to be the person that finishes, completes. The way that cars are designed, there is somebody drawing out a sketch. We all see the sketches, they look elaborate. By the end of the process where it rolls off the production line, it looks somewhat similar and a version of that mission, but it's been made into something practical, tangible and usable. So no matter how silly your idea may seem, your view, your opinion, there is someone out there that can use that. It may not be you, it may not be now, it may be in 10 years, but that message may have the ability to change opinions around the world. So that's the invitation today. What can you project? right now, today, perhaps even within the next five minutes, that has the ability to change another's perception, another's representation, perhaps even inspire and motivate another individual, take the action needed to do something great. Could just start with a compliment to another person that changes their day, which in turn changes the string of events that follow. That's how simple it is to change the world. So that's the invitation for today. Remember to subscribe, hit the like button, leave a comment in the description below. And I'd really appreciate it if you would share these videos with just one other person. Not only does it help me change the world or reach those individuals that perhaps need this right now today, but it also helps the channel, the mediums that we have reach more people. But that's it. Peace out. Be safe.